This is a very nice looking spear gun handle. It's carbon fiber, it's finished really well, but when it's in the water with certain types of gloves and it's wet, it's not very grippy. In this video, we're going to fix that. Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Daniel Mann. In this video, we're doing a little bit of DIY spear gun modification. Now I've been building spear guns for about 15 years. I've built over hundred timber spear guns and my more recent models were made of carbon fiber. One of the biggest things you need to look out for on a spear gun when you build it is the handle. Now, if you make a timber handle and you just put epoxy over that or a carbon fiber spear gun and put epoxy over that as the finish, as you saw at the start of this video, it's not very grippy. What I've been doing for a number of years has been using black sand over the handle to provide a little bit of extra grip and I think it looks pretty good. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. For this little project, you will need acetone, a paintbrush, two volumetric syringes, sandpaper, a utility knife, electrical tape, clear epoxy resin, mixing cups, and of course, sand. You can do this method on carbon fiber spear guns or timber spear guns with a timber handle, but if you're using a timber handle, make sure you have an undercoat of epoxy on first, otherwise when you paint the epoxy on initially, it will soak into the timber and might not stick so well to the sand. So the first step is to mask out where we want our sand and our grippy part. Now, if you look at this, you don't actually need sand everywhere all over the grip. You don't need it under here. You just mainly need it around here. So if you want to leave some of this carbon fiber exposed, it's easy enough to do that. And along here, you probably want a lot of sand around here. You don't really need it on the bottom either, but I like to leave a little bit of that nicely exposed there. So we'll be doing that with some electrical tape. I use box standard PVC electrical insulation tape because it is very malleable. You can make it go around corners, it's cheap, the resin doesn't stick to it, and it works perfectly for this purpose. When you're masking out where you want the sand to go, I quite like to show this carbon fiber spine here because it looks quite cool, so I won't put any sand over that. Continue around with pieces of tape like this until you're happy with the shape. Now what you can do is use small pieces like this to form edges or round corners, just so it's a bit neater and, and smoother there instead of just a harsh line. Now that we have taped out our handle exactly where we want the sand and made sure that it is all pressed in nice and tight, exactly how we want it, the next step is to grab some wet and dry sandpaper, I think this is 240 grit, just to give it a slight little hit over the sections that we're going to apply the sand to. Now this isn't to sand all the way back to the carbon fiber or the bare timber, we're just giving it a light scuff up so that the epoxy sticks a little bit better. Now that we've finished our light scuffing up, we're just going to give it a hit with a little bit of acetone to clean it down, get rid of all the oil that may be there from our hands or residue from the tape and obviously the sanding particles there. So we just wanna give this a little bit of a wipe down. It's a good opportunity to make sure that you haven't missed anything. That is looking pretty good. Time to mix up the epoxy. I'm just using a box standard clear coating epoxy resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Follow the instructions, they will do you well. Make sure that it is at the right temperature before you start operating. I suggest doing a test anytime you use new epoxies before you do it on your beloved spear gun. I mix it up in a plastic cup because it will be thrown away. And I use volumetric syringes so I can accurately measure the resin because that's really important. I also write A and B on these things because you can use these a number of times and you don't want to cross-contaminate your resin and hardener. If you don't want to mix them up, only open one at a time. You don't really need a whole lot just to go over the handle. Often you'll find that you mix way too much up. So for initially this pour here, I'm only going to use about would say six grams or six milliliters of epoxy so three of each so three into there put that to the side lid back on that's that one I always just soak up a little bit first to fill the syringe when they're brand new and then spurt it out and then do my 
intake of resin. And then back down to the three millimeter mark and into the cup. You don't want to swish that tip around in there because you will cross contaminate it and eventually put it back in here and ruin your resin or hardener. And now it's just a matter of mixing it up. Follow the instructions obviously, but with resins, I find that whenever you think it's mixed, mix it for the same amount of time again. That's what my granddad always told me. Now that our resin is thoroughly mixed, we are going to be painting it on to the sections of the handle that are obviously sanded and roughed up. We're going to be sprinkling it with sand. Now you can get various colored sands from craft supplies. You can get black sand as a sandblasting sand as well if you want that particular look. Some people want oh, a lighter colored sand for safety on the handles of their guns. This is just what I've got left over from other projects. So that's what I'm going to be using. You don't need to go too crazy on this. You just want a nice thin layer and obviously beware of hairs from the cheap disposable brushes that you're using. You also don't want to apply the epoxy too much further than the edge of the tape. Now that's looking pretty good to me and I find the easiest way to apply this sand is just with a spoon and you tap the spoon just to lightly apply it over those areas that we've got the resin on. It's a bit more tricky when you're defying gravity. And only the sand that touches the epoxy will, will stick on, so you can just brush the excess off and tap it around like that. I probably should have used a larger sheet of paper under this in hindsight. You can see that that sand is sitting in only the areas that we wanted it to sit into. Now, it's time to let your epoxy set overnight. Often they take about 24 hours to fully cure and then we will remove the tape and the final step will be to paint over this sand handle. Now that's optional. I just find it lasts a little bit longer and it's not so aggressive on the grip if you just give this another really thin coat of epoxy or you can just leave it like this if you want that really aggressive, grippy, sandy feel. Our 24 hours has passed and our resin has fully cured. It's time to remove this tape. And as you can see, the sand is stuck on there very nicely. Now there may be a few little parts like this where the sand is still stuck together. What you can do here is just trim that up with a knife before the, the last step. You can leave it like this, but I find this a little bit too aggressive for the gloves. So what I like to do is give this one more coat of very thin epoxy resin. Before we do that, just gonna give it a little bit of a rub down around the edges with acetone just to remove any of the residue that may be there still from the tape and then we'll give it a really quick thin coat. All we're looking for at this stage is just a very thin coat and you don't want to overrun the edge of the sand too much. This is just to seal it all in place. So you can spread it quite thinly over the top of the sand grip. And I assure you this will still be very grippy afterwards. And you don't want to apply it too thick because it might actually run a little bit. So you want to get right to the edge there and just use the bristles to, to work it into the corner just to sort of seal it off. That is the handle all done. And if you find that you've gone a little bit over the edge of the line of the sand with the paintbrush, all you can do is just rub it down with a little bit of a clean cloth just to make that edge nice and tidy. You don't want to do this with the previous cloth that you used with the acetone on it because that may affect the way that the resin cures. So nice clean cloth just to tidy up those little mishaps that we may have had with the paintbrush. This is the finished result, and you can see even by adding that epoxy resin, it's still very textured and very grippy. So once this dries in 24 hours, we'll be able to see exactly how much better of a grip it is than just the bare carbon or bare timber. There you have it, the before and after. This is a gun that I haven't done yet. This is the one with the sand handle. And you can see here and here that the grip is just so much better. That makes for a much more accurate shot underwater and you can hold your spear gun with confidence and not have it slip around. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you on the next one.